phone. And a list of dialing methods will become available. Please refer to your Toyota Navigation System Owner's Manual to explore the hands-free calling features in detail. Advanced System Setup The Toyota Navigation System allows you to customize certain system setup options. Although it generally isn't necessary to make setup changes, you can choose to set the travel speed that the system should use for calculating estimated travel time. Or you can choose to turn off the system's voice recognition prompts, for example. Setting the travel speed allows the system to more accurately estimate the time of arrival at your destination, or the approximate length of time it will take to drive to your destination. This will also allow voice guidance commands to be given far enough in advance when you need to make a turn or maneuver. Here's how to change the speed setup for estimated travel time. Press Setup. Press Navi. Then press Detailed Navi Settings. Next, select the Driving Speeds button, and then set the average speed you normally drive on residential streets, main streets, and freeways, respectively. Please be mindful of the locally posted speed limits on each of these types of roadways. Then press Save. The system will now more accurately calculate the length of time it will take to travel to your destination based on the speeds you normally drive. Please refer to How To Estimated Arrival Time to learn more about displaying the estimated hour of day you'll arrive at your destination. The system setup also allows you to turn the voice recognition guidance off. As you become more familiar with the system, you may find it isn't necessary to hear all the voice prompts to enter a command when using voice recognition. To turn voice recognition guidance off, press Setup. Then press Voice. Select the Voice Recognition Guidance button. Then select the Off button to the right of the Voice Recognition Guidance. Finally, press Save. Estimated Arrival Time Knowing the estimated hour of day you'll arrive at your destination is sometimes helpful. After you've entered a destination, the button, located on the left of the map screen, will display the estimated distance from your current vehicle position to your destination and the length of time to that destination. To view the hour of day you're likely to arrive at your destination, simply press that button to expand it. Then select the Arrival Time button to display the estimated time of arrival at your destination. Please note that the system doesn't factor into its calculation delays caused by traffic signals, traffic flow, or road construction. Also, the estimated time of arrival is based on the system's clock setting. You should verify that the clock in your vehicle is set correctly and that you've selected the correct time zone. Please refer to the Toyota Navigation System Owner's Manual if you need to learn how to set the clock or time zone. Freeway Exit Information When you're traveling to your destination on a freeway or toll road, make sure that the map screen preferences are set to freeway mode and that you're traveling under the system's route guidance. The system can display a variety of points of interest at freeway exits, such as gas stations, restaurants, and banks. As you drive on a freeway, Upcoming exits will be listed by name and or number, along with the selected POIs in the vicinity of that exit ramp. You can scroll to an exit on the list, then touch the map icon to the right to see the points of interest at that exit. Please refer to Map Voice in the Basics section to learn more about setting map screen preferences. Overview the audio system in your Toyota 
is designed to provide you with all the features of a high-quality CD player and AM-FM tuner with Bluetooth portable device integration and a satellite radio-ready interface. All of this is packaged into the intuitive touchscreen system. In this section, you'll learn about the functionality of many audio-related features. Controls The controls of your audio system incorporate several buttons on the navigation system bezel with additional on-screen buttons and controls. The audio button along the bottom of the bezel will display the audio system screen. Along the left side of the bezel, you'll find five buttons, enabling you to switch between several audio sources. On the right side of the bezel, the audio system utilizes the Seek Track button for skipping between tracks on a CD or seeking through AM, FM, or satellite radio stations. To begin, press the knob in the upper left corner. This will turn the audio system on. This knob is also used to adjust the system's volume. To view the audio system screen, press the audio button near the load button on the lower edge of the bezel. Here you'll notice six tabs, each representing an audio source or input. The information below the six input tabs is different for each source and contains information specific to that input or source. Change the input source. Let's begin by selecting a source. To do this, simply press one of the buttons along the left side of the bezel or select one of the available on-screen tabs. If an input source is not available, that tab will be dim and inaccessible. Currently, the CD and AUX tabs are dim because there are no CDs loaded and no device connected to the auxiliary input. Use AM FM radio. Select FM as the audio source by pressing that tab on screen. The current station will be displayed in the upper right corner of the screen. Below, you'll notice six preset buttons and several smaller buttons along the bottom edge of the screen. These lower buttons are for seeking through a specific genre or type of music. You can search for available traffic reports using the traffic button, scan through all stations, or adjust sound and tone settings by selecting the sound button. You can change stations two different ways. To seek up or down to the next strong signal, use the Seek Track button on the right side of the bezel. To precisely tune to a specific station, twist the knob above. In FM mode, you have access to 12 memory presets, 6 in FM1 and 6 in FM2. To cycle between FM1 and FM2, press the FM tab on the screen or the FM button on the left side of the bezel. If you'd like to save a selected station in memory, tune to the station of your choice, then press and hold the preset button. After about two seconds, you'll hear a beep and the preset's been assigned. To overwrite the saved preset, choose a new station and simply repeat the process. In AM mode, there are six memory presets, which can be programmed in a similar manner. Use satellite radio. Your Toyota audio system with navigation comes satellite radio ready and includes a complimentary subscription for three months. To choose satellite radio, press the SAT tab on the audio system screen or press the SAT button on the left side of the bezel. To select a satellite radio channel, press the Seek Track button up or down. or twist the knob on the top right.
Notice that once a channel has been selected, the genre and channel name will appear at the top of the screen. You can press the on-screen text button to get more information, like artist and track names for music stations or programming notes for news and talk stations. To cycle through the satellite radio channels for a certain genre or type, press the type left or right buttons. You can also scan through the channels one by one by pressing the scan button. Once you hear a station you like, press the scan button again to stop scanning. To cycle between SAT 1, 2, and 3, press the on-screen SAT tab or press the SAT button on the left side of the bezel. On any of these three screens, you can program six preset channels, giving you 18 in all. load CDs into the system. Since there are no CDs loaded into the system, CD will not appear as an available input source. This system has a 4 CD changer with a single loading mechanism. To load a CD, press the load eject button in the lower left corner of the bezel. The load eject screen will be displayed. Press the load button. The screen will flip down, revealing the CD load slot and the map disk slot. When the system is ready to accept a CD into the slot labeled CD, you'll see a steady green light on both sides of the CD slot. Simply slide a CD into the slot with the label side facing up. You can continue loading disks in the same manner until you've reached the 4 disk capacity. To close the screen, Press the Load Eject button on the edge of the bezel. The system will automatically begin playing the last loaded CD. If you'd like to eject a CD, press the Load Eject button. On the Load Eject screen, you can choose to either eject all or eject a single CD. Press the CD button to eject the disc. This will open the screen and eject the CD. To close the screen, press the Load Eject button again. Operate the CD player. If one or more CDs have been loaded into the system, select CD as your source by pressing the disk button on the bezel or the CD tab on the audio screen. The current track and time are listed in the upper right corner of the screen. Some disks include text information, which display the track name, disk title, and artist name. If no text data is available, you'll see no data in these areas. To skip to the next track, press the up arrow on the Seek Track button. To return to the beginning of the current track, press the down arrow. To skip back to the previous track, press the down arrow twice. The Seek Track button can also fast forward by pressing and holding the up arrow. or rewind by pressing and holding the down arrow. To jump directly to a specific track, press the on-screen select button to access a list of all tracks on the disc. You can scroll up or down using the arrows to the right. Then select the track you'd like to hear. 
To return to the audio screen, press the previous screen arrow. The buttons at the bottom of the screen allow you to change discs, repeat the current track, randomize your playback order on the current disc, scan the first few seconds of each track on the current disc, and adjust sound and tone settings by selecting the sound button. Adjust the tone. To adjust the tone of the audio system, press the audio button to display the audio system screen. Now press the sound button in the lower right corner of the screen. Here you'll see two tabs, sound and DSP, or digital sound processing. On the sound tab, you can adjust treble, mid-tones and bass by pressing the plus and minus buttons. To the right, you can adjust balance and fader by moving the sound focus from left to right and front to rear. Next, press the DSP tab. Here you'll find the option to bypass the automatic sound levelizer, which automatically adjusts the audio system volume to compensate for road noise. Below is the position button. By pressing this button, you can optimize the sound processing for different seating configurations. Driver position, front seating area, rear seating area, or front and rear seating areas. Once you've made your adjustments, press OK. Connect a Bluetooth device. To use a Bluetooth audio device, such as a Bluetooth adapter for an iPod, you must first pair the device with the audio system. Begin by pressing the Setup button in the lower right corner of the bezel. Now select the Audio button, then press Bluetooth Audio Settings. To pair your device, press the Register button. Make sure your device is in the Pairing or Discoverable mode. If prompted, enter the passcode 0000 on your Bluetooth device. The Toyota Audio System should recognize your device. Once connected, you'll see a confirmation message. To use your Bluetooth device, press the audio button on the bezel, then select the BT or Bluetooth tab on the screen. You can press play or pause to control your device remotely. The next time you use this Bluetooth audio device, go directly to the BT tab on the audio screen. Make sure your device is set to Discoverable, then press the Connect button. After a few seconds, you'll see a confirmation message that the system has reconnected. Use the auxiliary input. You can connect an iPod or other audio device to the audio system using the auxiliary input. First, plug your device into the jack using an 8th inch mini plug. Once the device is connected, you'll notice the AUX tab on the audio screen becomes available. To select this input as the audio source, press the AUX tab on the screen or use the AUX button on the left side of the bezel. Use the controls on your auxiliary device to control playback.